Ma'am Pussy, uh, where a rather unfortunate situation has happened. A, a group of persons have killed, uh, shot and killed actually, two police officers and two other staff of the East Mamprosi Community Bank in Glentoria Farming Settlement in the East Mamprosi District of the Northern Region. And uh, we'll hit the phone lines now and speak to ASP. Uh, we'll speak to, uh, well, Adam Imoro, who is uh, District Chief Executive for East Man proceed just before we get in touch with the police. Hello, Adam. Yeah. Thank you very much for your patience over the telephone line. Exactly what happened? Uh, thank you, too. Uh, good morning. Yeah, uh, it happened. Mm. Yes, as you, you said. Uh, I think yesterday, between the hours of uh, between 3 and 5 o'clock, I don't know the time exactly because it took time before we got the, the report. The bank operates an agency in uh, an agency or mobilization center in Bintri. They usually go there to operate and send the money to Gambada. So yesterday, on their way from Gwentri, which is within my district, to Gambada, the Arabs attacked them between a village called Kudumba and Banga. Mm. Well, I, I, Adam, I'm going to have you hold on there. Uh, ASP Ebenezer Tete, uh, who is Northern Regional Police PR, has joined the conversation. He's joining us uh, also from the Northern Region. ASP, you're welcome to the program. ASP. Hello, ASP. Yes, I can hear you. You're welcome to the program. What is the police? What, what is the police's account of what happened? Um, yesterday, at about 4:35 p.m., uh, two police officers went round with the uh, bank officials from East Bampusi Community Bank. Okay. On the cash collection exercise. So uh, after they had finished with the cash collection, they were on their way to Gambaga when they came under fire from uh, some armed men who ambushed them, we are told, at the village called Bintrim. Um, the uh, account is that when they got to a bridge, which was very narrow, they slowed down and unknown uh, to them, these people were hiding in the bush, so they quickly ambushed them, shot into the vehicle, and uh, immediately two of our men who were on board uh, were hit. The driver was also hit in the process. There was a fourth person who was also in the vehicle who was rushed later to a nearby uh, health facility, but unfortunately he also passed on. So as we speak, two of our men uh, are confirmed dead now, and then two other persons who are also on board, the driver and the cashier, are also uh, dead. So, 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 in all, we mm. have four persons who have uh, perished as a result of uh, the unfortunate incident that happened yesterday. Um, the uh, attackers did not touch the money in the safe. Mm -hmm. That is what is uh, baffling our mind. But when we go to the scene, uh, the, the weapons or the ammunition, the weapons that our men were wielding were not around. So our suspicion is that uh, these persons, after shooting our people, uh, quickly took their weapons away. Uh, we could not meet them at the scene, but we were told that uh, uh, immediately they committed this atrocious act. They sat on a motorbike and then fed off. So, so as we speak, we have uh, intensified mm. our man hand for them. We are receiving bits and pieces of information. I see. And we hope that uh, we will uh, zero in, in down on these people and, uh, you know, get them arrested. The four persons, including the two police officers, are now in Tamale. Their bodies were brought from now, uh, uh, Gambaga yesterday. Mm. And as we speak now, the bodies are the Tamale Station Hospital.
uh, for preservation whilst we take steps to conduct autopsy to uh, aid us in our investigations. I see. So how do we describe this? Robbery? Murder? Um, we can say that uh, uh, it was an attempted robbery that uh, ended in uh, uh, the loss of life of uh, four persons. So it is robbery. Uh, you can also describe it as, uh, as, as murder because the, the, these persons knew that the van was uh, mm. uh, 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 the vehicle that was carrying money. Mm. And their intention would be to uh, attack the van mm. and make away with the money. But mind you, when we go to the scene, the, the money was intact. The, the money was there, but the weapons that our men were wielding were not there. So very well. Uh, I, I think it's 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 it, it, it's a bit dicey as we speak now. Um, we want to conduct further investigation to establish exactly what the motives of, of, of these persons were, whether it uh. was the policemen that were their target or it was the, the billion van and the money. I, so I think the point, the point any... I was trying to uh, make is, do you feel this was targeted, especially when uh, the, 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 the money in the bullion van is safe, is intact? Do you feel this was uh, perhaps a, target, a targeted case of wanting to wipe somebody out? Um, it is too early for me to say so. Um, what I can tell you is that the intention of these people were clear. They, they are people who are uh, armed men, and their intention, as I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, they knew that the, 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 the van was having some money in it, and they knew that uh, there were people who were escorting the van. So their, their immediate intention would be to uh, attack the van and whatever was in the van to make away with it. But uh, it is also possible that realizing that uh, their action will attract some people around, they just took the weapons and sped off. So uh, I am saying that uh, we want to look further into this matter so that mm. uh, at the appropriate time we will make whatever uh, findings we will make uh, available to the media. Uh, Imoro. Hello, Imara, do, do I still have you? It looks as though the Mapusi area is becoming a seriously notorious uh, area. How, how does this bother you as DC for East Mapusi? We can call, but uh, we have to uh, do more than what we are doing. What we are doing in terms of security is not enough. We need to re-strategize as uh, people. We need to uh, uh, provide security to our people to make sure that we beef up the security situation in the existing. What are we going to do if we want to re-strategize? Yeah, um, I think uh, this goes beyond just uh, saying that we are going to strategize. We, 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 we need to work... Uh, uh, with the security men to, to uh, actually advise. But as I talk with you, I think what we may have to do immediately is to uh, get the security. Currently, we don't have police station inventory, which has been an issue. Maybe we have to quickly, which we must. One of the options that we are considering is to quickly make sure that we uh, get police post, permanent police post inventory which may help in that area uh, to keep the security on the place. Mm, I see. Uh, ASP. ASP, are you there? Yes. What would be the police's assessment of security status in the Mampusi area? Uh, the the Mampusi area, especially the East Mampusi area, uh, has been very calm. Uh, uh, not until there was uh, an incident uh, some two, three months ago involving some uh, bamboos, some cucumbers, and then bimobers. But generally, the, the, the place uh, is a very calm area. And uh, presently, 
as we speak. But for the incident that happened yesterday, uh, the place was was uh, calm, was returning to the area gradually, and then uh, nothing, uh, you know, untoward was happening there. But uh, as the DC indicated, we we have to strategize, and uh, for now, mm. send some uh, uh, some police posts or uh, uh, erect some police posts that we have some tents and other things, and we we hope that uh, uh, we we can for now uh, erect some of those things there to send some policemen there. And then we hope that when the policemen are sent there, they, they will get the necessary cooperation from the people as uh, steps are taken to get the permanent structure there to, you know, uh, house the policemen, uh, both uh, in terms of their office accommodation and then uh, uh, where they will put up their, where they will sleep. I see. Now, Imara is asking that, you know, we will put up a permanent police post in that neighborhood. H how do we see that happening? Uh, that 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 will come uh, in largely from uh, the district with the uh, support from the police administration because uh, what usually is happening around here is that uh, the, this, some of the districts have taken it upon themselves to provide the the structure, the office accommodation. They will uh, get us informed, and then we will bring the drawings and other things, and then the structure will be put up. Uh, uh, according to police specification, mm. and then later the men are brought in. So um, we will be very glad if the district can help in that uh, direction, so that uh, uh, we will have a permanent police police presence there uh, to cater for some of these uh, things. I see. Uh, thank you very much, gentlemen, for your time. We've been speaking with ASP Ebenezer Tete. Now, ASP Ebenezer Tete is public relations officer for the Northern Regional Police Command. And uh, Adam Imoro is uh, DCE for East Mamprusi. Now, we're working to get in touch with a family member of one of the victims in uh, this particular incident. When we get in touch with that person, we'll bring back the story. But here's what I think. I think I should read a few of your messages on Facebook. And, um, well, um, we, I'll start off with... Uh, some of you commenting on um, on the FIFA World Cup and uh, as far as Sex Blatter's calls for resignation is concerned or a step down from Seth Blatter. Now Newton Jaffet says I support the idea that he should go and one that Salami says enough of the chop chop them for succumb long time. Aram Dede says, a country of shame. It's loud and clear that during World Cup, FIFA finances every country that gets the nod to compete for the tournament and it finances everything. It's quite a long essay, but let me just go to the end. And then she says, meanwhile, this huge sum of money for the World Cup expense can be utilized to stabilize the economy of Ghana. That's what she's looking forward to. The word says corruption is everywhere. It is found in almost all sectors of living, even in football. However, where Blatter re whether Bl Blatter resigns or not, corruption will not cease. Now, Sirifi Bar says, I fully support it. He has grown older. And Anthony Hope, a head door, says, Marcelo to Neymar, this is Brazil national team and World Cup for that matter, but not Barcelona. So you better put a stop to... I don't get it. So, um, Akwan is asking, why should people not emulate Nelson Mandela in this issue of second term? With so many truthful persons the world over that can transform FIFA, let's give them a chance. Abdullah Abdul Razak says, I think corruption is everywhere, but he must go to give a chance for the younger ones. I'll end it here on the message. But if you saw our uh, coverage of, you know, what fans are doing in Brazil at the beginning of the program, now that was just one bit of it. Here's the second part of that fantastic sports fan.